that our imaging tests, which are like transesophageal echo, CAT scans if needed, nuclear scans, um, et cetera, um, or, or, or surface echocardiography, um, are uh, ordered at the correct time to be most efficient. Um, she's putting together uh, uh, sort of order sets um, to semi-automate this, of course, with a physician brain behind it as well. Um, and uh, she's following outcomes in terms of that. So if any of you are interested in sort of um, uh, healthcare administration, um, cost reduction, uh, and improvement of processes, this might be a good uh, one for you to join. Um, also, if uh, you're interested in cardiac imaging, which is pretty cool to play with pictures. You know, so maybe you're thinking about, you know, do I want to go into medicine or maybe radiology? Well, this is sort of the blend between the two, and it might give you some some uh, ideas. Her other, her other thing, uh, which is um, has a little bit of a different bent, um, is uh, she wants to improve the value of a negative stress echo. Now, value is defined as um, good outcomes divided by what the cost is. Uh, and she is uh, focusing on patient education as a vehicle in order to improve outcomes. Um, She's educating patients about the stress echocardiogram and what it means, and also about uh, what uh, what they can do in order to improve things uh, going forward. Now, when when she receives a stress echocardiogram result, um, oftentimes she is showing these patients these videos that she's made. We have one of our cardiology fellows, second year fellow, so he's going to be around for another year. Um, has a lot of experience in video production. Uh, and we have produced, uh, they have produced, I have nothing to do with it, um, uh, produced uh, educational videos um, that are, can be shown before they have their stress test so they know what's going to happen, they feel more comfortable about it, and they're more willing, I guess, to accept the results of it. And also, depending on whether it's a positive stress or a negative stress, they get shown the next video, um, which helps them with next steps going forward. So if you're interested in that project, I would recommend um, you talk with Sangeetha. These sort of two different docs are the ones who responded to me in the last couple days about things that are ready for students uh, to join. Um, but by no means should that um, dissuade you from contacting one of the other uh, people who I listed, and I'll show that list again at the end. Um, this is sort of general recommendations for you. I'm not going to stand up here and list every single study that we're doing because that would take you know much longer than the few minutes um, that I have here. So I would recommend that you talk with all the any any cardiologist that you might have, and then they may have heard about a project that another cardiologist is doing, and they can direct you to that person and make an introduction. Figure out what you're interested in, and if possible, if you come up with your own idea, that would be like an aspirational type of goal. Like if you can think of, you know, I'm interested in echocardiography and I'm, I'm wondering if, you know, maybe it can be used for Project X, right? And if, if you are able to pose a question like that, that would be just an outstanding way to introduce yourself to a potential mentor. That project may or may not come to fruition, but you might be able to take that and twist it. Um, to put together a project that ultimately you would do. Uh, you should make contact, as I was mentioning. When and if you do get a project, be enthusiastic, be intelligent, and work really hard when, when you're doing it. And that is you know, sort of a truism for all things. Um, this is my last slide. I wanted to show you this slide again uh, for people that you might want to contact for each of the different parts. If you're not sure about what type of research uh, you would be interested in doing in cardiology, you can contact me directly and I can help to guide you in whatever direction you'd like. Thanks for your attention. I'd be interested in taking any questions you might have. And I know you're poised to clap. Clap. Any questions? All right, I look forward to hearing from you guys.